Welcome back my fellow Kiari Warriors to Over 50. Today in my Kiari playlist I'm going to address the question that I've seen some people ask on the message boards and I can't believe that I didn't do a video on this already. But what are the, what things should you take with you to the hospital? So I'm going to show you everything you're going to want when you come out of surgery. I don't know that I would take it when you go. I mean, I would have, or, you know, if you do bring it with you, maybe, you know, leave it out in the car. And then, you know, when you come out of, out of surgery, whoever, you know, greets you in your room can bring it to you. Um, so this is in no specific order or anything. And don't laugh because I didn't have one and I still don't have one. But I'm using my granddaughters as an example. But you're going to want an eye mask. Something, and preferably something a little more effective than the frozen one. But you want something to cover your eyes so that you can block out all the lights because there was, even if, you know, they, with, with my room, the blinds, they didn't want me to close them and, you know, the door was open and, it, you know, they were coming in and out of there every hour on the hour. So I don't know how much it would have helped, but it would have been nice to have had something to block the light. So start with an eye mask. Second, some chapstick or you know, whatever you want to call it. This is a O'Keefe's lip repair, but I had a little, you know, chap lip thing going on and kind of wish that I had had this when I was there, but, um, didn't have it. Um, something I'd also didn't have, but I wish I would have had now would have been noise canceling headphones. These are worth their weight in gold. Let me tell you, I can't tell you how many times I've been yelled at because I don't hear conversations because I have these on. So they'll block out. Yeah, especially when my wife yells at me, which you might hear her in the background. Um, so if these can block out people yelling at you, they should block out all the noise that you would hear outside your room in the hallway. These are nice to have. Okay. Obviously, the no-brainer. You're going to want your computer with you. Um, maybe you have your, also you're going to want to have your phone with you and you're going to want the charger for each one. You're probably saying, uh, duh, we kind of knew that. We already know we're going to need our charger. But when you're packing the night before, you know, and you have your phone out and when you're leaving in the morning and you're kind of in a hurry and you grab your phone, you unplug it and you don't think about unplugging the charger that you just unplugged your phone from. I'm just putting it out there because it could happen. Okay. Would have happened to me, but I have an amazing wife that thinks about all those things that I tend to forget about. Um, you're also going to want to have uh, snacks. Okay, you're going to want to have something that you can snack on. Toothbrush, toothpaste, and when I was at the Mayo Clinic, they gave me this, I forget what it was, but it was something that I could smell when I was feeling nauseous, and it would take the urge or it would take the nauseous feeling away because the last thing you want to be doing, trust me, the last thing you want to do is be vomiting after you've had surgery, okay? I mean, the pain is going to be ridiculous. I mean, you can watch my week one video when I was back, you know, here at the house and I think I recorded it in my bedroom and I was just holding the phone. I was like, oh, this is horrible. Okay, well, that was like, you know, four or five days after being out of the hospital. Imagine being just out of surgery and you yeah, urge of, uh oh, and you feel nauseous. And you're trying not to vomit. This little thing, I, and my wife said she saw it the other day, but of course couldn't find it now. So if I can find it, I'll maybe show you in one of my future videos. Um, I'll just say, hey, remember when that video when I said take that thing to the hospital? But um, I'm sure you can probably find one at Walgreens or CVS. It's just something that. You know, you smell it and it makes you not want to be nauseous. Now, the Mayo Clinic gave me one. Maybe your hospital will too, but um, I'd rather have it than to be in that situation and wish I had it, if you know what I mean. And I think that's pretty much about all that you really need to take with you. I mean, you know, yeah, you'll want some fresh clothes when you leave, okay, but you're not going to be leaving the same day of your surgery. You're going to be kept overnight. Um, so, and, and I spent two nights there, so 
um, whoever picks you up can bring you clothes. Um, you're going to want something comfortable. Um, something that probably does not require you pulling it up over your head. So like, you know, maybe a shirt that you button down the front. Um, that would be my suggestion. Um, uh, I'm trying to think. Um, I cannot think of anything else. So just to recap, cell phone and charger, check, or smartphone. Computer, charger, check. Lip gloss, check. Eye mask, I know, don't give me a hard time about it being frozen. Noise, canceling, headphones. Toothbrush, toothpaste, snacks. And I think you'll be covered. Um, if you, and also, if you have your cell phone, you can always set your cell phone up as a Wi-Fi hotspot if for some reason the internet in the hospital doesn't work. So that's always kind of a nice thing to have. You probably wouldn't need to do that. Might actually not. You wouldn't want to do that if you're doing any kind of banking and stuff. But if you're just kind of, you know, YouTube and stuff like that, you know, no big deal. Um, I think that's it. So I'm going to go ahead and sign off for this now because this is already long enough. But if you have any questions, comments, or if you think of something that I forgot to mention that somebody might want to have when they're in a the hospital, drop it in the comments section. Please smash that uh, subscribe button. And you know, if you want to hit the like button, that'd be great too. Share this video with your friends out there. And until next time, uh, fellow warriors, um, take care. And uh, just remember, you can battle through this. And just take it one day at a time. And, you know, that's about all you can do. But uh, until next time, I'll catch you later.